Hey, what's up, nerdlings? Sean from the Nerd Lair here. Thanks for tuning in to another emulator video where we're going to be reviewing the Retro Advance. Well, at least that's what I thought it was called when I went onto the website. They even call it the Retro Advance. The site itself is actually really nice. It's pleasing to the eye. It comes in a multitude of different colors. We have flat black, clear white, flat white, clear black, flat yellow, and flat red with a sup on it, which I would never buy that one. This thing's actual name is the Retro FC Plus. Okay, that's strike one for false advertising. And what is this, a controller? It's not even included with the actual console. In the box, all we get is some AV cables and a USB to micro USB cable. And we have strike two for this console. I haven't even turned this thing on, it's already pissing me off. It came with a scratch on the screen. I didn't do that, what the hell? On the bottom left side of this thing, we have a volume wheel, and I always want a volume wheel over a button for volume. On the top of this, we have AV out, micro USB, and the power button. And if we flip this thing around, we'll see the door for the lithium ion battery. At a full charge, this thing has around 8 to 10 hours of battery life. It's nothing impressive by any means. It's, you know, a lithium ion battery. And we come to my next gripe with this thing. The buttons are crap. They're one button, look at that. You can see them moving every time you press it. And the start and select buttons, they're just hard plastic. It feels so cheap. The D-pad, however, is a piece of shit. It doesn't have that ball in the center of the D-pad keeping you from pressing a direction without pressing the entire button down. You need that in a D-pad or else the thing is just one giant button. No matter which direction you press, you're gonna press all of the other ones at the same time. It's fucking awful. I can already tell the controls are going to be complete garbage, so let's turn it on. Alright, so we select the language, English of course, and we have 168 games to choose from, which is not impressive. But then I see this game, Harry Potter. What? Um... I am so confused right now, this is super surreal. Harry Potter wasn't on the NES. Wait, what the hell is going on? Uh, oh, wow, blackface Harry Potter. He's so black that you can see the whites of his eyes in the dark. Jesus, looks like it says Hori Polar. We get to the game finally, and it's like a side-scrolling shooter game where you're on a broom shooting at worms and golden snitches, or I don't know what the hell these things are. And what's up with the background? Is, like, Hogwarts underwater? I am just so confused. I gotta play a real game that I know exists on the NES. Contra. Man, that felt like I was in an alternate reality there for a second. That was a weird feeling, I have to say. <laughs> anyway, let's play some Contra. Can't go wrong with this game. Not bad so far. And, yeah. The D-pad. It's not doing it for me. Just take my word for it, it doesn't feel natural. All right, with the actual console itself being kind of a disappointment, let's just plug this thing into the TV and play like that because that's an option. Just take the auxiliary AV cable and plug it into the top. Next, you're gonna wanna take the AV cables and plug them into the TV. It's pretty simple, red to red, yellow to yellow, and then we're gonna turn this on. And you get that great music that is at the menu every time you go back to it. And all the games are there. Let's play some Adventure Island 2, because I love this game. Okay, so, right off the bat, I mean, it looks better than what you're seeing here, because all I really had to do, and I apologize for this, is just point the camera at the TV screen, because I don't have any sort of capture card in order to capture the footage, but, you know... It looks okay, I guess, but you're still using the emulator handheld as the controller, so yeah, it looks fine, but the controls are still ass, so I mean, I don't know what they were expecting. <laughs> if you want a game to be fun, it needs to have good controls, and well, none of the games, even if they're good on here, are going to be fun because the controller sucks, so that's that. All right, with the bitter taste of disappointment in our mouth, we're gonna unscrew this thing and see what makes it tick. Let's take out the battery because safety or something, I guess. Next, we're gonna unscrew the six back screws that hold the game shell together. 
Nothing too difficult here, just a simple Phillips head. Next, we're going to take off the backing and unscrew the one screw that holds the board to the shell. It's just another small Phillips head screw. Next, we're going to take the board off of the pegs and flip it around. Aha! I knew it! One button! That is not right. That is just cheap. Let's see what we got behind the screen. Man! This thing is cheap beyond all belief. It even says Retro FC on the board. And here's a size comparison with some other Game Boys, and a size comparison with the Oakdroid. This thing is definitely thicker than the Oakdroid, but it weighs a lot less, like it feels a lot cheaper. So in conclusion, would I recommend the Retro FC Plus? I'm gonna say no. This thing is a piece of junk from China, I thought it was going to be legit because the website looked really legit, but looks can be deceiving. With a $29.99 price tag plus shipping coming from China, it's going to take a long time to get to your place and it's definitely not worth the wait. All I can say is do your research before buying a handheld emulator like this. You're definitely going to be disappointed like I was with this when you shell out the money and it takes forever to get to you and then it turns out to be a piece of junk. So save your money, get an Odroid because I highly recommend that definitely over any of the other handheld emulator consoles. And that's going to be all for this video guys. Like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this because I upload at least once a week so there's always something to watch. Go ahead and check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links will be down below in the description. And check out my merch store for some awesome Nerd Lair shirts. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time in the Nerd Lair.